in this video, I'm going to be deploying Quen2. If you guys didn't know, deploying models is a very cumbersome process, especially when it comes to large language models. And today I'm going to show you guys how to deploy a large language model in with minimal effort and quite cost effectively. Now, if you guys didn't know what Quen2 is, Quen2 is a new large language model released by the Alibaba group. This is a new large model that is beating out Llama 3 currently. Llama 3 well, a few weeks ago was the best open source model available. Now the Quen2 has taken the crown. And the best part about this is that it is truly multilingual large language model compared to Llama 3, where they've been trained with different low resource languages, which is amazing. And I think a lot of people in my audience will most likely like it. Now, let's see how we can deploy this model. Now, the video will be broken down in four main steps. We're gonna talk about the setup, what you guys need. We're gonna talk about deployment, inference, and the cost. When it comes to deployment, we're gonna focus on the small models and the big models both, and different strategies you guys can use to deploy each of them. We're gonna talk about the inference, the speed, different inference methods, how you guys can deploy it and use it in your application through Hugging Face, Curl, Langchain, and Llama Index. And we're gonna talk about the cost as well which is the cheapest and different use cases that is appropriate for you. By the way, I make similar videos like these on LLMs, machine learning, and other data science tools. So please feel free to subscribe. Now, let's deploy this model. Now, first thing you guys have to do is sign up to Hugging Face. So once you've signed up to your Hugging Face account, we're gonna search a, the Quen2 model. Now there are different collections of Quen2 models. We're gonna be using a small 0.5 billion instruct model. And from there, to deploy this specific model, we will go to the right hand corner, the inference API, which is serverless. Now, the reason why I'm using this Hugging Face Quen2 Instruct model is because when you guys fine tune your own model, you guys can also save it in Hugging Face and you can deploy in the same fashion. But nevertheless, we can deploy this pre trained model using inference API. This will give us some nice Python code that's already generated in Python. It, ha it has also provided for JavaScript and even curl. So we're going to copy the JavaScript code, go to an instance of Google Colab and we're gonna paste it. Now, when you paste it, this will not work right off the bat. There is one thing you guys have to do, which is you have to pass in the authorization token. Now, the authorization token can be accessed through your settings page. Settings, you go to access token, and you have your tokens over here. So you copy that, and then you paste it over here. Now, in my case, I already have my authorization token in my environment or variable, so I don't have to worry about that. So I'm just gonna call that real quick. So over here, I'm gonna pass in a query. Tell me about LeBron James and we should get an output. Now, if it's the first time you're loading a model, this could take some time, so please be patient. And now we've got an output. So this is a quick way to deploy a Quen2 1.5 billion instruct model. Now, the problem with this serverless deployment is one big issue, which is, although it works great in many use cases and most people who are watching this video will can quickly prototype and deploy this model to a so small number of customers. But for people who really want that highly accurate models, you may want to use a 70 billion, 54 billion or 70 billion parallel model. And this is where this doesn't work, which is this has a limit of 10 gigabyte model. So if a model such as 54 billion parameter model or 72 billion parameter model is typically 16 gigabytes or more. And this is where this fails. Now, this goes to our second part of this video, which is deploying big models. How can you deploy a 72 billion parameter model? This is where Hugging Face really, really shines. And I'm super excited to show you guys. So we're going to choose a 72 billion instruct over here. We can deploy it using inference endpoints. Now over here, this already pre-selects which hardware is appropriate for this specific model to be deployed. This is the quickest and cheapest way you can deploy a 72 billion parameter model and use it in an application in no time. Now, we're going to use the A100 GPU, cost around $16 per hour. Again, we can break down the cost at the end of this video. But for now, let's deploy it. We can deploy it using Amazon Web Services. We're gonna use the Northern Virginia server. And we're gonna call it Quen2. Now, you can keep this pretty much default and just create endpoint. Okay, so I actually tried to deploy a 72 billion parameter model, but it is saying that I have to contact them to get a increase in coda. So I only have available two A100 GPUs, but I need four to deploy this. And I've already sent the email, and you guys can do it too if you guys want to deploy a 72 billion parameter model. But I just want to quickly show you guys on how to deploy with the 7 billion param model because we have access to these other GPUs for the moment. So we're going to go to instruct, we're going to go to inference endpoints over here again, and we're going to choose a L4 GPU, for example, and then we're going to create an endpoint. Okay, now we have been able to deploy our 7 billion parameter model. It's a bit sad that we couldn't deploy the 70 billion parameter model, but again, it's just going to take some time, but the process is exactly the same. 
But nevertheless, let's see how we can actually use it in our pipeline. So you'll be presented with this dashboard over here. You have the endpoint URL, you have different configurations, model instance, how much it costs per hour. As some playground, we can test the model over here, but we're more interested on the API side. So, which is very nice, is that they've provided the code. So all we really, really have to do is just copy the code, paste it on our environment, and we're good to go. Now, I've already showed you guys how to make the requests like these. I let's actually try how to use the open AI API key, API, where you pass in the endpoint you have over here. Essentially, you're piggybacking the open AI package. So let's try that right now. We go over here, pass this one in, and the API key, we just pass in this token, and hopefully this should work. Now you will have to install OpenAI package over here. And now we run this and there we have it. Now it's streaming output. So here is how you can use the OpenAI package with the dedicated server that we have created over here for your application. Now let's check out the difference of request time using the dedicated server that we've created. Let's just see the speed of the application. Now we're going to use the simple Python request file over here, pass it in here, and we're going to record the time on how long it takes to get our request. We're going to pass in the start time and we're going to pass in the end time and then we can calculate the inference speed. Okay, so it took around six seconds to get the inference from a 7 billion parameter model using our instance for quant to 7 billion. So hopefully this gives you guys a some sort of idea of how, what to expect from these type of endpoints. Okay, now we've looked at the inference speed. We, look, we looked at deployments of different sizes. Now I want to mention different inference methods. Now I've already showed you guys how to make HTTP request to the model endpoint that we deployed. Now we're gonna see how to call that model through Langchain and Llama index. You can use it in your rag application or other Langchain based applications. Now in Llama index, you can actually call your endpoint like this and you pass in the token, which you can use to complete your application. And this similarly to this is also available for the Langchain as well and works in a very, very similar fashion. So again, I will put the description for these two documentation in the description down below. Okay, now let's talk about the cost, which is the cheapest and appropriate for use case. So before we start using the serverless or inference endpoints, you have to choose either of these price ranges. If you are a person just trying to prototype and just quickly want to test with the customers, clients, or just for yourself, you'll be fine by just using a pro account. Now, the thing with pro account is that you do have a limit to which size of models you can use. You can only use a model that is less than 10 gigabytes in total size. However, if you want to use models that are much, much bigger, like 15, 16 gigabytes, 25 gigabytes model, you will need to have a dedicated endpoint. And this can cost all the way from $0.032 per hour, all the way up to $16, $25 per hour. Now, if, you're, if you guys are going to use a Llama 3 model or a Quen2 model, and all these large 70 billion parameter models, you will be expected to spend around $500 or more per month. But people who just want to test around, use it in your Langchain, Llama Index, local machine, $9 per month is actually quite a good price range for you guys. So I personally recommend the Pro, but if you guys really, really, really want to use the large models, then you guys can also use the inference endpoint as well. So there you guys have it. That is how to deploy Quen2 models on your Hugging Face account, where you guys can call on your different applications. All right, guys, I hope you guys found it insightful. If you guys did, please feel free to subscribe. I also have a Discord server for people like you and me can come and chat about their problems and different stuff. Hopefully we can help each other out. And yeah, there you guys have it. I hope to see you in my next video. Have a nice day.